Hello, I'm Mark. Um, time for designing and building another product. Um, this time, I was thinking of of building a a sun tracker. What it's going to do is, it's, I want something that'll sit in the window and have a couple of mirrors and make the light come out the same way all the time. So I can run it to a prism and put a nice rainbow on the wall. But to do that, I need to drive a couple of, of, uh, of motors to run the mirrors. And to get really accurate motors, I'm going to use stepper motors this time. Um, I haven't done a project with those for a while, so um, I figured I'd do that. Um, the, um, the motor I'm going to be using is a pair of these. Uh, these are really inexpensive 5 volt only uh, stepper motors, the 28BYJ-48s. Um, they're a five wire. Uh, that allows us to uh, drive them with a really pretty simple circuit. Now, they frequently come with the driver board, but I want to integrate all of this onto my design. So um, we're going to be using um, uh, KI CAD uh, 6.01. Uh, that just came out uh, a week or two ago, something like that. Um, so we're going to go with that particular one. Um, I've when The first time we powered up, it's going to have a few questions. So assuming, well, I'm running a Mac, um, but it runs well on, on everything else too. Um, let me... Let me get to a display that works. Okay, so... Okay, applications, KICAD. Here's our app. And it comes up with configure I, uh, KICAD settings path. Just use start with default settings. That sounds good. And it comes up with this. And this is the... This is where we're starting, so um, I need a schematic, I guess. So I'll click the schematic button. Oh, need to create project first. I suppose that makes sense. File, new project. Um, let's see, where do I want to put this? Let me, um, I've got my, my fancy way of storing everything here, so let's go to working. And uh, this is for the university. This is the spring of 22. And uh, this is going to be for a 307 class. So let me create a 307 directory. And we'll go into here. And uh, this will create a new folder for the project too. So what I want to do is I want to name this something. This is going to be, uh, this is a stepper driver. Not to get too long with the name. Stepper DRV. Okay, so it created a couple of files for us right off the bat. And uh, it's the schematic and PC board. This runs a little different than the version 5 of KICAD. So, um, you know, you can look at my old videos for that. But uh, this is the first one I'm doing with version 6. So now if I click on this, it comes up with this window. Configuring Global Symbol Library Tables. And it's got this uh, it's being run for the first time, all these kind of things. It's important to set this right. If we don't, then it gives us all sorts of uh, headaches. Um, the copy default global symbol library table recommended. That is what we want. And I click that. And it made something way too big. Let me shrink this back down to something that, that fits on the screen. Okay. So this is where we're at. Now we're going to be de designing with the Arduino processor again, the ATmega 328P. Again, it's an outdated processor, um, but there's so much stuff out there for it, and it's a really easy one to design with. And also when we go to put it together, the pad spacings are, are uh, large enough that it's not too bad for a first-time project if you're working with surface mount components. Uh, the other issues that we have... Uh, we have to do a, a bunch of things regardless of what else we put on this board to just match the, you know, so we can get a program, so we can get, you know, everything can get up and running normally. So uh, I'm going to stop this video here. And uh, um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about, you know, what we need to have first. So regardless of what you're going to put on your board, the next video, we're going to start with a schematic and we're going to actually 
do the required amounts that everybody will follow. And then after that, then everything deviates, depending on what you want to do with your design. Okay, so um, let's see. Um, I think that's probably a good place to start stop for this particular video.